Hey, you guys, Pretty Girl Politics. This is Autumn here today. And so, you know, what I'm going to talk about is um, marriage and the gray areas. And the reason why I'm talking about it is because of August Alsina and Jada Pinkett situation that recently has um, come up in the news media or whatever. And so, you know, everyone is kind of like, what's really going on? Because um, August Alsina says, you know, he has had, you know, some sort of relationship with Jada Pinkett for years. And he really, truly does love her. But he, I guess he felt like he got played. And we all know Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith, you know, they're a married Hollywood couple for a lot of years with kids. Um, their kids are grown now. So a lot of people are like, you know, they've been saying there's rumors that, you know, the Smiths have an open marriage or they're swingers. And, you know, that's something that they do in Hollywood. And, you know, so a lot of people, they kind of have a lot to say about it. And they're like, August shouldn't be saying anything. He should just keep it to himself. And then other people are like, you know, Jada was wrong and this and that and other. So... Let me tell you what I think. Honestly, I think August needs to go get a therapist. And I'm not being mean about this. I really think he should go get a therapist. And then I think he should also get into finding his faith and building a relationship with God um, so that he can work on his healing and recovery. And then I think moving forward, he should never get involved with another open marriage or a swinger situation or anything, okay? Does it matter that he felt Will Smith gave him his blessing? Um, but from what I've heard, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett, something happened in their marriage. They hadn't said what happened, but some sort of betrayal or something happened in their marriage. And they decided to go from considering themselves married to consider themselves life partners. However, they're still legally married. And in that regard, that means they still are going to be there for each other until death do them part. However, um, I guess for them that they said they have made agreements with each other <clears throat> as to how they will handle their 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 situation, their marriage, um, their life. And I guess it means they can have other partners. Okay. So, you know, it's been rumored that Will Smith is dated models and things like that. I don't really care um, about any of that. The only thing that, that concerns me is that a lot of people have so many, um, you know, they have so many comments to say about people in their marriages. And a lot of people, especially people who have never been married, they have a lot to say about what marriage is supposed to be. And, you know, um, they have a lot to say about what other people choose to do in their marriages. And I will say this, I am a married person. I've been married for 11 years. Okay. And I know other married people. Um, before I actually, um, was married, um, I encountered somebody that I didn't know they were married at first. Now I didn't get involved with them. Like I didn't sleep with them. We didn't go on any dates. We didn't even have phone conversations or text messages, nothing like that. They were just a coworker, but I had developed a, a crush and infatuation on them. Um, just because they, they were a nice person and I really did like them and stuff like that. And the brief little conversations we had in the office and stuff like that, you know, and I was in a very vulnerable state, you know, from a really, um, failed relationship for your relationship that really was supposed to turn into marriage, but it just, it didn't. Okay. So, you know, I didn't know that person was married and I had called myself doing background checks, you name it. You know what I'm saying? Um, background checks at the time as best as I could do. Okay. They didn't have any picture of a family at their desk. They didn't have, um, they never even, they talked about their wife, but they never really referred to her as their wife. 
And in fact, they didn't really start talking about her right away anyway. You know what I'm saying? And they didn't have a ring on their finger. That's more importantly. That's typically what people look for. But I've come to learn that everybody doesn't wear rings. There, there's different reasons why. I don't wear one because my fingers can't handle it. Okay? My fingers swell up. The only jewelry anybody has ever seen me wear are earrings. I don't wear necklaces. I don't wear bracelets. I don't wear rings. Jury does not jury has not been my best friend. Earrings is the best I can do. And it's usually just usually some hoops or something like that. Now it's not being dishonest. Um, I learned from that situation in which I was very disappointed to find out that they were married. Um, I learned, okay, everybody who's married is not wearing rings and there's different reasons why it could be their profession. It could be, um, maybe they're separated. Now what I discovered from that person's situation they were having a very difficult marriage. They were having marital problems, really serious marital problems, and they were separated. Therefore, that person did not want to wear their ring. And if I go back to um, what I've seen in you know other marriages um, that I knew of, that does happen sometimes. When someone's separated, they stop wearing their ring and stuff. Doesn't mean people are trying to be dishonest. People do find themselves in that limbo period. I call it gray area or anybody in psychology would call it gray area. Everyone thinks, especially, well, not everyone, a lot of people who have never been married, they think marriage is black or white. You got people who are married and they still think marriage is black or white. It's not. For a, a, quite a few couples, it's not. And it's not because people are out here trying to do wrong. It's not because people are trying to be dishonest. It's because people are going through some serious things in their situations. And depending on what's going on, people are not trying to broadcast all their business. People are generally trying to get through their situations the best they can. And they do not want to broadcast everything that's going on. Somebody who's separated is not going to run out and be like, hey, everybody, I'm separated. Somebody who's going through a divorce they may tell some people, other people, they may not talk about it because it's difficult for them. You know, um, for those who are separated, that's definitely a limbo period. Um, for those who are in the process of divorce or want a divorce, depending on if it's the beginning stages of it or if it's just difficult to get through the divorce because maybe there are uh, property and assets and things that are, you know, that the couple is fighting over child custody they may be fighting over. It could be a lot of things they could be fighting over that could be literally drawing out the marriage because people get ugly and they get bitter when separations and divorce happen. You know, if there's been any betrayals or someone just really feels like, you know, they're resentful because they never want that marriage to end for whatever reason it may be. So a lot gets left unsaid to people on the outside Usually only the people who are closest to those people are going to know what's going on in that marriage. And for that reason, people need to be careful about not judging. Just stop judging people based off of what you think is going on in their life. It doesn't matter if you know they're married or if they're not, or if you think they're involved with someone or not. It's none of your business. And it's not for you to judge. If you're not God or Jesus himself, then what are you judging for? Are you sin free? Even if you thought you were, it's still not for you to judge. So I think a lot of people, they, you know, they don't understand that everything is just not going to be as simple as if you're unhappy, go get a divorce. It's not going to always be as simple as if someone cheats, go get a divorce. For some people, they may have gotten cheated on or they may have cheated, but they don't want to let go of the marriage or they're not sure if they want to or not. Some people may discover they have grown apart and they don't know if it's just in their head or if they just need time or space apart or if they just need to meet other people to figure that out. Now, if you're, if you're a married person and you're at somewhere in that stage for whatever the reason may be, I don't, I don't encourage people to, you know, um, to really get too involved with other people. It's nice to meet other people and maybe even to chit chat, maybe have some lunch or something. But don't. it's not necessarily ideal to sleep with someone because feelings are going to get caught up. 
People can get feelings caught up even if they don't sleep with someone. But make sure that other people know what's going on in the situation. Explain it the best you can. A lot of times because there is judgment surrounding married people wanting to explore their options when they are separated or getting a divorce or whatever is going on, um, they don't always want to come clean or let people know up front what's going on because they're afraid that people are going to misjudge them and their character. They're afraid people are going to take their truth and, you know, twist it around to something negative instead of just seeing it for what it really is. Because a lot of people, they like to sit on their high pedal stall and, and they like to be self-righteous and act like they got themselves and make judgments and people have to stop doing that the moment people stop making judgments of people married or not and what they're doing is the moment people will come forth and they will speak their truth without without the fear that someone is going to label them in a very unfair or uh untrue way you know um but unfortunately, we live in a society where everybody wants to throw stones, but they live in a glass house. And, you know, so all I'm going to say is this. To some extent, I can relate and understand what's going on in their situation. Not because I've been in their situation per se, but I understand what it's like to go through things in your marriage and then you're trying to figure out where you're at in your marriage and then you're trying to make arrangements in your marriage without broadcasting to the whole world to just try to just get through it. Because when you have children and you have assets um, and you're unclear what's next or you're unclear if things can be reconciled or worked out or maybe things can't be you know, clean cut divorce for whatever reason it may be because of some other legal things going on in that situation. But, you know, it can be rough. It can be rough. And a lot of times, like I said, people, they don't want to broadcast all their business because it's their business. It's their business. And until people have figured things out or know exactly what it is they need to do or want to do or where they're going, a lot of times people, they just keep their business close to their hearts. And honestly, I think August Delcina, he knew Jada was married. And I think he knew well what was going on in their situation, but he was young. So unfortunately, he learned the hard way, you know, about getting involved with someone who is married and maybe there's things going on in their marriage or they, you know, just whatever. Open marriage or not, problems, issues or not, he learned a lesson the hard way. Um, but I think he should have just kept this to himself. But I understand um, he probably wanted to put the truth out there because he probably had people side eyeing him and looking at him like he's the bad guy or like he's just uh, some, I don't know what, terrible person. But um, at this point, I can't wait to see what's going to happen with Jada Pinkett bringing him to the Red Table Talk to talk about it. But and people were saying she's probably going to dance around the issue and say that they're just spiritual beings getting to know other, you know, having a special spiritual relationship with each other, whatever. They're saying she's going to dance around the topic and she's not going to come fully clean because the, the Smiths have been known to dance around um, people asking them direct questions about their marriage and what's going on in it. But that's their business, you know. So um, I just hope that he can heal and I hope that they can find a way to, I don't know, heal the situation and move forth. But I'll say this, you guys reserve the judgment for God because you guys, you don't, marriage is not just about love. It's also about you come together to raise a family and build a legacy and, you know, under that covenant of God, change the world. But, you know, some people's marriages is just pure legal and they don't even have covenants with God, you know? But that's all I'm going to say. Comment below. Peace.